Grammar 2 for Level 2 Students Chapter 10 The Passive Passive forms of the modal auxiliaries Modal auxiliaries are, well, can, could, may, might, must, should, ought to, has to, etc. They are often used in the passive. See the structure. The sentence begins with the subject and subject is the object of the active sentence. Then modal plus be. The verb is in the past participle form by the preposition and the object and it is the subject of the active sentence. See the examples. This is an active sentence in the affirmative form. He can drive a car. He can drive what? A car. So a car is the object for this verb drive. So we can change this active sentence into passive. In the passive sentence, the object of the active sentence becomes the subject, a car. Then according to the structure, we put modal, can, and be. Then the verb is in the past participle form. Drive, it is in the past participle form, driven. By the preposition, and the subject of the active sentence becomes the object in the passive, him. A car can be driven by him. Another example. You should respect your teachers. This is an active sentence in the affirmative form as a statement. If we ask, you should respect whom? We find this answer, your teachers. And your teachers is the object for this verb, respect. We can change this active sentence into passive. In the passive, the object becomes the subject, your teachers. Then according to the structure should with be, should be, the verb should be in the past participle form, it is respected by the preposition and the subject of the active sentence becomes the object in the passive, you. Your teachers should be respected by you. Another example, we could not open the door. This is an active sentence in the negative form. We could not open what? The door is the object for this verb open. Now in the passive, the object becomes the subject, the door according to the structure modal with be and since it is negative we use not in between could not be the verb transitive should be in the past participle form it is opened by the preposition and the subject of the active sentence becomes the object in the passive us the door could not be opened by us another example he does not have to bring his passport he does not have to bring what his passport is the object of this verb bring so we can change this active sentence into passive and in the passive sentence the object becomes the subject the modal with be has to be and it is negative so not in between the verb transitive should be in the past participle form by the preposition and the subject of the active sentence becomes the object in the passive his passport has not to be brought by him